Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my Platinum Trophy Guide for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you're an Xbox player, this video is still for you as I'll be going through all the trophies or achievements, just forget about the Platinum part of the video. As I've done in these videos before, I'm going to split it into two sections. The first part is going to be an overview and roadmap of what to expect when going for the Platinum or 100%. The second part will be a more casual look through my own trophy list where I explain how and when you can expect to unlock each trophy. At this point now I would usually say that there's going to be spoilers in the second part as I'll be going through each trophy and then may give certain things away if you see anything in their title or description, but this isn't true with Modern Warfare. There are a couple of minor things you might see but nothing I'm going to highlight or that you couldn't guess was going to happen anyway. There are no story trophies for this game and they're usually the main culprit when it comes to spoilers. So these videos aren't reviews and I don't usually give my opinion on the game in question, but as a trophy or achievement hunter this is probably the best Call of Duty game ever made. The single player campaign is back and it's better than ever, unless you're Russian. Yeah the Russian military aren't exactly painted in a good light during the story, there are lots of war crimes going on all over the place. Amazingly there aren't any collectibles anymore, the intel has been scrapped, no more dramatic set piece interruptions to go and find a laptop. But best of all, there are no multiplayer trophies, every trophy is earned during the campaign. Not only is the trophy list really great, but it's also a really easy one as well. Yes you need to play through the game on veteran, or realism which I would advise it's much more immersive, it's no more difficult than veteran, you just have a very limited HUD. Veteran is easy in Modern Warfare. The thing that made the older Call of Duty games so difficult was the grenade spamming by the enemies, but they just don't do it anymore. You can play through the campaign only once if you want, as Veteran and Realism difficulty are available from the start, but playing this one more than once is not a chore at all, it's a great campaign. With regards to missable trophies, there are none. As with all the Call of Duty games, there is a mission select screen so you can clean up any trophies you missed post story very easily. Most trophies in fact are mission specific and even the ones that aren't technically only have a few instances where you can get them. This makes going back and cleaning up anything you missed very simple. I do have an individual video guide for almost all of the trophies and they're all linked below in the description. I've put them all in mission order so you can use that if you want for maximum efficiency when going for the Platinum. Also down there will be my realism playthrough videos, again these are all individual, one for each mission. As far as a roadmap goes, you can play on veteran or realism from the start so there's no reason not to. As the trophies themselves don't really give anything away, there isn't really much harm in knowing what you have to do in each mission to get them. There are actually only two trophies, wall hacks and golden path that pertain to the same mission which you can't get at the same time as one voids the other. So with a bit of planning you can play through the whole story and only need to replay one mission. So to sum up, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is a quick and easy Platinum. I would say a 3 out of 10 for difficulty, maybe a 4 if first person shooters aren't your thing. With regards to Platinum or 100% time, you're looking at about 8 to 10 hours. Ok so this next section is going to be me going through my trophy list explaining when and where you can expect to unlock each trophy. Again there are very mild spoilers ahead. Ok so this is my trophy list here, as you can see I already have the Platinum all done, wouldn't be making a guide if I didn't. Right so yeah obviously the Platinum, this happens last, I got it on my favourite mission, Mission 2 Piccadilly which is pretty awesome. Uh, here we go, The first, these first few up to here are the non-mission specific, kind of mission specific ones, like there are only a few places you can get tripwires with explosives. So this first one obviously is a ridiculously bad picture because I killed a, fr a friendly while doing this trophy. So I got this in, what did I get this in? Hunting Party which is the sixth uh, mission. You, you, this is where you first encounter tripwires. You just need to throw a grenade at them. Um, it doesn't need to be the different ones, it can be the same one over and over again. And obviously it doesn't matter if you kill somebody with friendly fire. So just throw a grenade at tripwires, do that three times and there you go. Um, next we have Ashes to Ashes, I'll do this together with Long Way Down, no I won't do it together. But they all you get them all in the same, so what we're doing Ashes to Ashes, Long Way Down and Wildfire are all got in, um, what are they got in, Proxy War which is the fourth mission. Like I mentioned before I do have a an individual trophy guide for 
most trophies. I don't have one for Boom to Diffuse. Uh, there are a couple of others, Hang Time, maybe, that don't really need them. But the rest of them I do have and they will be in the description. So if you want individual, more in-depth for each trophy, that's where you can find them. But I'll just tell you where to get them for the most part. Um, yeah, so this one is in um, Proxy War, Mission 4. Ashes to Ashes, if you run right to the back of the area, with the, with the main area, with the two helicopters, you'll see all the enemies will bunch together. You'll have Molotovs, and there's very few missions where you actually have Molotovs as a weapon, so that's why I got this here. Um, yeah, just throw a bunch of them there. You can get it quite easily. Three enemies while on a ladder hang time. Which one did I get this on? I got this in um, Wolf's Den, which is the 10th mission. Um, this can be got with the same guy over and I don't oh, oh, I died, that's embarrassing. You can get this with the same enemy over and over, die. Actually that's probably why I did die, because I was trying to do that, see if it worked. Um, climbing up a ladder, there is, I think there's two you have to do during this part of the story. Um, so you can just die and then go and get the third one. Long way down and for wildfire these are, again are from Proxy War Mission 4. So there's two helicopters and you can, can we see them here? No we probably can't. So this is the area. One will land in front where those pallets are on the left. That's the one you'll be taking down as part of wildfire. And then long way down there is a, a helicopter in this area that stays and floats around. Um, just pick up the sniper rifle right at the start of the mission and uh, shoot him, shoot the pilot, easy as that. And then wildfire, again, oh, really bad, because the, the tro there is a trophy delay with um, Call of Duty, there always seems to be. So this is the same area, if not that you can tell, but a helicopter lands and drops off some guys. If you run quickly, right at the start, just run down. Throw Molotov into the rotors of the helicopter, you'll take it down, no problem. Kill an enemy with a direct hit from a smoke, uh, smoke grenade. This is got on Hunting Party Mission 6, or well you can get it in a few, but you don't actually get um, smoke grenades in too many missions. But Mission 6 Hunting Party is where you do get it. Um, you need to have the enemies in the sort of Borderlands 3 style of... Um, second wind they'll be on their back shooting you with a pistol if you shoot them um, it is kind of random when you shoot certain enemies they will fall back and they'll start shooting with a pistol that is the only time you can hit kill one with a smoke grenade press l1 to throw the smoke grenade um, and you'll get it that way again there's all trophies for all of these and as well most of these in the description so next is out of fire and tea time these are obviously Complete the single player campaign and complete it on Veteran and Realism. Veteran and Realism, or Realism, are both available right from the start, so there's no reason not to, because they're not difficult. So, that's those two, it's done. Nothing But Net is obviously got during the first mission, Fog of War. You need to kill a, a machine gun encampment with a grenade. So you can see there, it is the just in that window there, you, you'll know it, where it is, he's shooting at, you have to go through this area. Throw a grenade in through the gap, or up past that ladder, Even you could even go up the ladder and throw it in I suppose. I didn't try it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Uh, yes, that's a really easy one. Do not injure in any civilians in Piccadilly, I do not have a guide for this one, as it's pretty self-explanatory. Just don't shoot any civilians during the Piccadilly mission, which is the second mission. Um, trophy, late trophy again of course, this is after I've finished the mission. Um, just don't kill any civilians, it's as easy as that, it's quite easily done. Just watch your background and you'll be fine. Play Dead and Companion Block are both from Embedded, which is the third mission. These are mostly in order, if you look down the list most of them in order apart from a couple. But uh, Embedded is the third mission. And the field of dead bodies, we're not going to see it, of course we are not, because it's late again. It's a specific time in the mission when you have to lie down um, in a field of dead bodies, pretty much. And usually you wouldn't disturb the enemies, you'd just let them pass. But for this trophy, you'd have to kill them all. There's about six to eight, and they're right, right on top of you, so you have to be quick um, killing them all. Easy, drop it down to an easier difficulty if you need to. Companion block. Um, 
as part of your disguise for this mission there, I'm getting it right at the end, that's when I get the trophy as part of the disguise for this mission you need to carry a cinder block as part right at the start and um, after that you can put it down and you don't need it again to get this trophy you need to take that block that you pick up right at the start all the way to the end you don't need to carry it all the time you can put it down and come back to it and that's what I do again there's a, a video for that these next two are the two trophies that you can't get at the same time they're both for mission 5 clean house you can't get wall hacks and do golden path because for golden path you need to clean the house without being hit using only one bullet per threat where to save Alpha 3-2 you have to shoot an enemy before he's a threat so it would cancel out Golden Path. So again there's a guide for each of these but you're going up to Floor 2 or American 3. Uh, Alpha 3-2 is the guy in front of you um, as you go up the stairs and there's a door off to the right there. Um, you need to shoot through the door before he gets to the door and kill the guy there and then you get that. To do Golden Path, you need to complete the whole mission using one bullet per threat without being hit. The important word here is threat. You can't preemptively kill enemies. If they're not shooting at you and they don't have or they don't have a gun in certain cases, women won't have guns until you kill their partners, then they won't be a threat and you can't kill them. It won't count. So you have to wait until they're hostile towards you. Again, there's a I've got a full run through of that mission. Kill at least one enemy while inside the reading place, Oral Sheik, and both subway undergrounds. This is actually in the wrong place. Weirdly, this should be up here, as it's part of Piccadilly. Um, the reading place is the big place you need to clear out with the two um, LMG guys. Oral Sheik is across the road from that, and as is the one of the subways and then the other subway is around the corner again I have a, a guide for this you can get this with the other trophy just watch your backgrounds love from above is destroy four trucks with four drone strikes before they reach the end of the path in embassy and it's way that because I couldn't remember embassy is the seventh mission this is the one where you're holding the embassy the, they're trying to come in the enemies are trying to come in from the left hand side there there's a field um, and the trucks will come across if you press up you can see there at the bottom right if you press up you get the laser pointer up on the d-pad that is um, and you have a drone but at a certain part of the mission you have a drone that's looking over you and you can target enemies or trucks whichever with the drone and you need to kill all four trucks with the drone with one shot Again, I have a, a trophy guide for that. Pit Stop and Driver Z are both from Highway of Death, which is the eighth mission. Uh, which comes first? This one comes first. Driver Z comes first. There is a certain part is Suicide Bomber. You're not going to see it there because he is blown up just to the left there. It's not the white truck, it's the, the cloud of dust behind it. At a certain point, a Mad Max looking truck will come up. He's very heavily armoured. You need to shoot the driver. You need to destroy the or remove his windscreen or windshield uh, with one shot and then shoot him in the head with the second shot. Um, you can't disable the car because you need to shoot the um, stop it that way with the, by shooting the driver. And then pit stop, you're not going to see it again because the trophy was late. But as the road there, where it says throw Molotov. To the left there, if you follow that road down, that's where the APCs come from. The last thing that turn up, they're proper military APCs, not like those white, the white truck there. And you need to shoot three wheels on three of them. Four of them show up. They each have six wheels. You need to shoot three on each to stop them. It's quite easily done, and you can restart checkpoint. For all of these trophies, you can restart checkpoint, and it's not going to be a problem. So that's those. We have kill two, kill both shot, kill both soldiers with one shot in hometown. This is right at the end of the mission where you're playing as Farah. Nearly, nearly forgot it there. Farah is a little girl. There's two enemies right at the end. You need to line them up and shoot them with the gun that you pick up from the middle of the area. Next is tunnel rat, tunnel rat, the wolf's den. I'm not going to show you this picture um, but yeah 
go through the, there's two parts to this mission you play as both it's the only time you play as both um, Alex and the English guy I can't remember his name no it's gone I want to say Ryan but that's not right I can't remember his name you play as both you play as the English guy first and then you'll play as Alex the American second down in the tunnels the 1911 is his sidearm so just use the sidearm to complete that. Melee kills are okay as well, just don't use a main weapon like a shotgun or a rifle. It's, it's simple, simply done. Never get hit by the sniper while escaping captivity and spit on Barkov are both from the same mission. This is mission A11, Captive. This comes first, so as you've been interrogated um, by Barkov, you need to spit on him. You don't actually get the option to spit on him. You, you won't see that as one of the options. You need to respond to him with a dialogue choice. Click R3 um, as like, like a melee hit, and that will cause you to spit on him. That's very easily done. And next is never get hit by the sniper while escaping captivity. This is right at the end. Once you've escaped capti captivity and you free all the other women, you'll make a run for it across an open area and there's a sniper you need to make it to the other end without getting hit by him quite simple again if you do get hit just restart the checkpoint you'll be fine hot swap I don't have a guide for this one because it is so easy uh, get one kill with eight different weapons when completing old comrades this is the 12th mission just there's so many weapons there must be 12 13 14 maybe even more just get a kill and pick up a new weapon. It is a chase kind of sequence. The whole mission is a chase sequence. So pick up a new weapon. In the, I think there's a pool table at one point which has four weapons on it. So you can use that. You have a rocket launcher and an LMG at the end. Plus the two you start with. There's so many. You don't need to, to worry about that one. Lights out. And We on the Night are both from my favourite mission. Going dark. Actually I said that about Piccadilly. No Piccadilly is probably my favourite. This is my second favourite. This is the most open mission this is the most free liberating you can do what you want in this mission it's just you and you have to uh, sneak into an area and it's it's really cool so shut shut off the power in four buildings is very easy you do one at the start automatically when you're with price and then the other three as you go into each building before you go in just shut the power off it's usually near the door where you go in we on the night is a little bit different obviously you need to kill, it's a little bit more difficult, you need to kill enemies at the clock tower, no I've gone past it, the clock tower, the church and the pool without anyone calling for backup. So you can get spotted, just don't let them call back up. So you can kill the enemy that spots you quickly, uh, as long as no one else turns up you'll be fine. There are a lot of enemies, we're talking maybe 30 plus now the trophy doesn't specify whether you have to kill the ones outside of the buildings as well but some of the ones that are, are outside do come inside at some point so it's best just to clear everybody out around the three main buildings you need to go to each of the three buildings to free not free but talk to a, uh, a certain captive um, just kill everybody you see and then as you approach the main building I'm not going to tell you what the main building is but you'll know the lights will all come on and that's when you should get the trophy again I have lifts uh, not lists I have videos for all of these apart from a couple which I've mentioned hot swap and things like that and this is another one I don't have a guide for as it's so self-explanatory reach Barkov's lab entrance using only drone strikes again you have the laser pointer press up I don't have it anymore there because I finished it you'll automatically get it taken off you once you reach the point and you'll get the trophy but right starting from the beginning reach the entrance using only drone strikes just keep your head down and the drone needs to reload every two or three so you need to do two three shots hit big targets like um, snipers RPGs um, towers vehicles clear them and let duck down and let you guys kill the rest of them and just keep pushing forward it's like an old style Call of Duty mission, you push for as you push forward, everyone will kill everybody as you move up. So pushing forward is the best thing to do. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. And that is it. There's very few. I didn't actually should have done a count. Let's have a quick count. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 25, 26, plus the drought, 27 trophies. That's a very short list. So there's a lot of gold, silvers, only a couple of bronzes, really. So yeah, that's it. So that's it for the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Platinum, or 100%. Really easy and really fun, if a little short. I hope you got some useful information from this video. I'm going to be doing one of these for all new releases. Please drop a like, share, maybe even subscribe. It all helps and it's much appreciated. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.